According to Woj, Harden, quote, wants to make the 76ers uncomfortable, so uncomfortable, ultimately they don't think they'll get the best out of him and make a trade. Okay? Your approach when you first got to the show was. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, Harden was there wearing a Sixers t-shirt in elevated practice because they're in Colorado. Yeah. Um, and he looks in shape. Yeah, yeah he didn't he wear does. a suit. Yeah. So, how do you see this playing out, Nick? I mean, if James Harden wants to salvage what there is of his reputation and of his career, he'll show up, be a good player, play his best, and hope to get moved at some point. I, Brew, I was thinking about this today. That James Harden's basketball story or legacy mm-hmm. is maybe the most Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde I've ever seen. All right, on the good. He has more first-team All-NBAs than Steph and Dame combined. He has more top three MVP finishes than Steph, Dame, and Russ combined. He has the only players in league history to average more points per game in a single season than James Harden are Wilt Chamberlain and Michael Jordan. That's the good column. The bad column is maybe the most notorious playoff choker of his generation and is trying to set the all-time record for teams quit on in cartoonish fashion. From showing up overweight with the Rockets to quitting live in a game on a loose ball against the Kings with the Nets and to going to the nightclub and having the bottle service ladies hold up a sign that says, my GM is a liar with after (laughs) doing it internationally with the Sixers. To be fair, he may not have ordered that. Okay, well, someone may have ordered ah, that. Okay, yes. I love this. But we we also (laughs) know what he did in (laughs) China. And we also know what he did in China. Yes. And so I just, if he really does quit on the Sixers, Ah, my back hurts, whatever. He is more famous for the bad than the good by a wide margin, which is amazing because the good is historic stuff mm-hmm. that I just listed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I I, hope he does the right thing. I'm not confident no, in it. No, look, you're right. And James, I get it. He, he's First of all, he's lost a lot of money. Yeah. Now, it's a lot of it's his fault, and I don't mean the quitting obviously yeah. is bad enough, but he, he had an opportunity – to sign a huge contract extension with the Nets. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, and your teammates were just Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. I mean, you think you could win some championships with them? Maybe. No. No, I don't. <laughs> they don't never gave all. themselves a chance, but that's neither here nor there. But my point, you know, like, he has blown. So I get why he's upset, and he does feel like I, I helped the Sixers out mm-hmm. last year, gave up some money. My man Daryl Morey didn't hook me up, and now we're at odds. I get the human element. But at the end of the day, sometimes you just got to do something you don't feel like doing. And James Harden, for as you said, for his career, if he wants to continue, not only the reputation he has, but going forward, the best thing for him to do is stay in Philly until they trade him and play his butt off. Number one, it'll help your reputation. Number two, you actually, if they, if he and Embiid and Tobias Harris and Tyrese Maxey and a nice group of role players played their best, they're in the hunt. They are absolutely in the hunt, and, and they're, they're more in the hunt than the Clippers. Because I think you can't count on Kawhi being healthy. Paul, and the West is deep, West as is, is the East. But So I'm just saying, and no team can give him an extension now. Yeah. So it's not like you say, I want to go to the Clippers because they're going to pay me. We don't know that. And next year, the teams with cap space are not very good. All right, San Antonio, Orlando, Utah, Charlotte. Like, none of them are going to want him. And so he's got to play well, have a professional attitude. So some team will say, Next summer, yeah. all right, James. James but can you help. you think he it. should play out the whole year? Well, play. And, he doesn't I, want to. I think no. I think he can still hold out. Like I want to be traded, but until then, I'm, okay. I'm so, all in. The, for so the then Sixers. they're in first place. Like by the way, we're in first place because I've been on my best behavior and giving it my all and staying late and running the stairs like I used to. Remember, I want to be traded. Well, then like, you can oh, drop you, it if you want to uh, drop it. You can drop it. What? How do you see? But he's got to play. Out, I don't know. I don't have a firm grasp on what he wants. Is he? I know he's mad about the money. I think he's just—it's personal. It's only personal. But what? But do here's the thing. 
the Dame, we felt like we all knew what was going on with Dame because Dame has a great relationship with Chris Haynes. And Chris we, told us we were getting yeah. good reports. Do we know exactly? I think it's like, all right, you wanted out of Houston. They were rebuilding. So you showed up. You didn't play. Then you did play well, and he didn't play again. Brooklyn, why? You heard of these drips and drabs. He needs to sit down with someone other than just saying Daryl Morey's a liar, and that's it. I kind of want to go to the Clippers. We see this report from Woj, and then we see him playing at the same time. It didn't look like he's making th- anything uncomfortable. So I think he needs a better media strategy. Well, he needs he better people around him. He clearly has, uh, has needed them for a while. And then lastly, Wilds. All of the p- people that were trying to keep their powder dry for Giannis, now that Dame's well, with him, take. they now, well, I was going to say, are keeping their eyes on Embiid and keeping oh, that Embiid. same powder oh, dry if absolutely. this thing goes totally awry, which is, I think, what Harden thinks his leverage is, but that could be mutually assured destruction. He could blow up everything in Philly and make himself untouchable for the rest of the league yeah. except for on the middle. All right, let's do Lakers real quick. You, the Lakers conversation is better. I had a it, quick comment. That's all right. No. All right, check in the odd couple. To seven, to ten. Uh, <laughs> seven to ten, he's in box ready. <laughs> After being dispatched in last year's Western Conference Finals, Lakers are eager to avenge their losses and the trash talk coming out of Denver. Quick review. After LeBron pondered retirement, Mike Malone went on McAfee and said, hey, speaking of the Lakers, I want you guys to know this is breaking news. I'm thinking about retiring, so don't tell anybody. Everybody had a good laugh, <laughs> except LeBron, that is, who went to Instagram and said, by the way, enjoy your life, but just know I'm the sun. I stay on forever. You know, there are some more fatalistic things. The sun eventually will burn out. So don't about it. Look, he's not saying it like, yeah. I'm glad we got the Nuggets first night. Oh, you so want I, more no, no, I'm, I'm gonna give him a little leeway on that. Okay. But the comment, it wasn't a braggadocious comment. But AD saying, yeah, LeBron and I have talked about it. It's putting the Lakers in a position where, look, it's one of 82. So it's there's nothing gonna come out of the first game. But it's kind of like, oh, y'all that upset? LeBron and AD have had conversations about the, the Nuggets chirping. Austin Reeves says, yeah, we want them in game one. You better win. Because yeah. Denver, it, it's not going to matter to Denver. They're going to come out there. I, I, we'll see how they play. But win or lose, no big deal to them. Now the Lakers have talked all this smack, hmm. made it a big game. You better win. Because if agree. you don't, then it's going to be like, oh, they, I, they, I, they the, no, well, it, And here's the thing. I think people – misremember like what why did the Nuggets sweep the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals I think what everyone remembers is Darvin Ham being like we'll be all right and the Rui stuff or whatever Mm -hmm. it is Joker was obviously great in that series he was great in every series he was great all year he was sensational the reason that series went the way it did was because Jamal Murray had one of the greatest conference finals in NBA history not an exaggeration he was 33, 6, 5, and 3 on 50, 40, 95 splits. For a little context, any conference final, all of NBA history, only LeBron, Kobe, Steph, Akeem, and shout-out Amari Stoudemire have ever averaged more points in a conference finals than Jamal Murray did in that one. So if you're the Lakers, I think you look at it and say, we have more continuity. We added a tiny bit this offseason while the Nuggets lost a critical piece. Right. Brood- not – not critis- <laughs> not super critical, but an important piece in Bruce piece, Brown. Yeah. That we, if we can just, if we run that thing back and Jamal Murray just plays A level instead of super duper hall, he averaged but more points in that conference. Guy. I know, but Bruce, like he averaged more performer. points in that conference finals than Michael Jordan ever averaged in any conference finals. That's probably not going to happen again. I know the scoring's different. I understand that, but so I think the Lakers, and I think by the way. The other key for the Lakers having a chance is the guy we heard from. Who on the Lakers do we expect should still be a, yeah, that, on the – That's what's interesting. Is how much better can right. he be? And we, we joke with you about saying that's a big three. But, look, he had he was great against them in the conference yes. finals. 21 points a game, 50% shooting from three mm-hmm. in overall. And you would think, even though they lost – you would think he would have improved in confidence oh. and ability yes. Yes. from his experience with Team USA. Yes. So 100%. I'm looking for big things from okay. him. Okay. Denver's still favored by from five him. and a half. He'll probably- Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.